What's up, YouTube? This is part three of this series, and uh, what I'm doing today, I just swapped the headlight. Headlight was pretty simple, and I also decided to do the headliner. I've already done you guys the favor of taking the headliner out, so if you look up, the car is just completely naked. And uh, that's the headliner over there. Go check it out. I'm just going to use some spray adhesive. I went to Joann's, the fabric store, bought some fabric for it. So I'm going to just wrap it. Instead of going back with the gray color, I got black. They didn't have gray, so I went with black. Most of the accessories inside are black anyway, so I think this will look better. But regardless of the fact, we're just going to get to it. Just show you all from the other side. It wasn't that difficult to get off. It's just you got take the mirrors off you take the door handles off all the way around take the light trim and light trim and then you're literally able to pull it out to this front door so that's where i'm at right now so i'm finna give y'all some pov action um this is the headliner i've already took the fabric off there was a foam layer that was under it that crumbled so right now i'm just using the vacuum and i've gotten most of it that's gonna come off up I used a wire brush and hit a lot of it too, so a lot of it has came up, but I'm just trying to grab the ribbon so it'll have something to bond to when I finally do get to that point. So, uh, let's do it. Yo, T9C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we on to the next step. Key idea or some tips for me to you, don't have a pet outside. Cause if I showed y'all all these paw marks that's over here, <laughs> I'd be upset, but I'm not. So we got this right here, the Gorilla Contact Adhesive Ultimate. An old head told me 3M works really well too. I didn't have 3M, so I went straight with this. Plus this says, well, if y'all can see that car headliners on it. so. I trust that this product will work for y'all to see firsthand. So I'm at just about the halfway point, um, starting to come out good. I'm starting to notice little imperfections inside. So take your time. This will probably be easier with a squeegee. Don't have one. I'm just working with my hand. So I guess now I know for the next time I do this. But regardless of the fact, this is the halfway point. And uh, I guess I'm just not the rest of this out. Get it done. So it's the next day man when i tell y'all i kicked my butt to get that headliner back in there but we did we got it so i'm gonna show y'all what this looks like real quick real fast i do need to clean it up so i'm also gonna clean it up make it look a little bit better but sitting in the car as you can see headliner's in place it is a little tacky because all of these they're still the tan color but i figure since you know the a pillars and the b pillars Everything still has that tan. I figured that they'd come out and compliment it. But nevertheless, it is in. It looks 10 times better. And it just adds to the overall aesthetic of the car. You know, I shampooed the seats. Y'all haven't seen the interior in a while. Shampooed the seats. I switched out that. I got a more standardized steering wheel cover aside from the Cheetah one. 
I got everything up from the floor, shampooed the floors too, bought floor mats to make them look better. AJ came to say hello to y'all, and now he's walking away. But, you know, did the floor mats. I um, Let's take a walk around the car so y'all can see it. As you can tell, I've done a lot of exterior cleaning to it too. Hit it with a polish so it's shining now. I do need to hit the wheels again. Went through, cleaned up the headlights. I did a whole kit, sanding kit. To bring the yellowing out of those make them back clear so that looks 10 times better going around i did get that back window fixed as you've seen from the junkyard video i was able to snag a part from there i got all of the stickers that were on here all they had something that sticker was hiding this now what happened here i'm not quite sure maybe it was rusted or something like that they welded it and sanded it down or something to that degree but that's what that sticker was hiding um, it feels like maybe there's some sort of paint over it, like maybe a clear coat or something. So I don't think that it'll rust or anything like that. I got the rest of the stickers that were on here off. We're still missing a Honda emblem, which I did snag one from the pull apart. I just haven't thrown it on yet. So the only thing I'm waiting for now, you know, if it was a car that I would keep, I would put a lot more effort into the paint. You know what I'm saying? I'd probably go and get the whole thing resprayed, but outside of that the only thing we're waiting for is the high beam no, that's this side the high beam for this side and that's coming in today so i'm gonna slap that in and then that's just the process of flipping the car there's nothing else to it as far as you know performance the car runs sound it doesn't miss a beat i was having a vacuum leak at first figured out where it came from so actually i'll show you guys real quick give me a second as you can see i did get the engine bay cleaned up a lot as well too but i was having a vacuum leak coming from here for some reason it blows off if you drive it hard this will blow off and it'll cause a vacuum leak from here and the car will run really rough you try to turn on the ac the car will stall so if you're having that issue with these cars look for a vacuum leak mine just so happened to be right here but aside from that i did get a new cap for the radiator coolant reservoir i was getting a really bad squeak so i did go ahead and replace this with a gates belt I also while i was at it replaced the tensioner which would have been good content i just figured it out knock it out i was such in a rush to get it done that i went ahead and just punched it and knocked it out but with both of those in hey i mean the car is a hundred if I needed a car, this would be the car that I keep because just everything that's done to it, I feel like I made this car look a lot different. Of course, I could put more money into it, but then I'd be cutting in the profit margins. As it sits, the car is worth way more than what I bought it for. So right now, I'm just waiting on some paperwork to come back. Once the paperwork comes back, this car will be out of here. So it was cool seeing the car around for a little bit, but it is about to get ready to you know what i'm saying get up out of here get going or whatever but uh yeah that's all it is to it man i told y'all it wasn't a difficult process the turnaround for this was probably like a week which i could have got it done faster the biggest downfall was i ordered a lot of the parts off of amazon i got amazon prime but for some reason they still took two or three days between each shipment extra to get them in so with that being said, I could have had it done quicker, but regardless of the fact, we're finished. The car is done once I slap that bulb in, and uh, man, I'm telling you, that's all there is to it. Finna get that quick money, and I just maybe, maybe I'll find another car, do the same process, and walk y'all through it more thoroughly, if that's what you guys want. I could definitely do that for y'all, you know what I'm saying, get y'all some more content and whatnot. As far as Geneva, I think I may have figured out what's wrong with her. Don't quote me on it, but if that's the case, you will be seeing a lot more content from that vehicle here soon as well. So uh, y'all keep y'all fingers crossed for me. But you know what I'm saying? That's all I got for y'all today. So y'all hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Stay up. You dig what I'm saying? Hold it down. Stay up. And, and look out for the little people because, you know, the little people need some love and respect too. I guess that's his way of saying bye to y'all, but uh, I love y'all. Thanks for riding with me. You dig what I'm saying? I'm down with y'all. If y'all down for me, and it's your boy J Lo signing off. This guy. Hey, so make a